Hey everyone, Sean of the Tax Goddess here. Today I got a great question from one of our clients. So I gave the gift of $17,000 to my kid. I get to deduct that, right? Eh, not quite. <laughs> so there are two different terms in the tax world. One is tax deductible. One is tax exempt. So a gift, when you give a gift, now 17,000 is a very specific number. It's the 2023 gifting limit. If you give a gift to somebody, the gift up to $17,000 is tax exempt, which means you do not get a deduction, but the other person also does not have to pick it up in income. So pretty cool, especially if you're giving it to your children, okay? Tax deductible means I gave you something, money, whatever it is, I gave you something, I get to deduct it, but you have to pick it up in income, okay? So when we talk about a gift, can I deduct a gift? The big question is, well, what kind of gift are you giving? Is it actually a gift? For example, like parent to child with that $17,000 gifting limit per year? Or is it actually more of like a business gift? For example, I'm going to gift all of my clients a $25 Starbucks card to say, thank you for being my client. Those kind of gifts you can deduct. There is a max limit. There's a reason why I said $25. There's a max limit of $25 per person on a business gift that you give somebody. So there, there's one little circular piece there, which is if you're giving a gift that can be split across multiple people. So for example, a Starbucks card is one Starbucks card. It's really gonna go to one person. But if you bought a gift basket with some cheese and some wine and a couple of movies or something thrown in there, that could be split across multiple people. So for the gift basket, let's say there was enough to split across four people, you could take four times $25, okay? Now, when you're tracking gifts, you have to be very cautious about this. The IRS wants to know, who did you give the gift to? Like name, address, what was the, pur the purpose of why you gave them the gift? You know, was it a thank you for referring a client? Uh, was it a holiday gift? You know, something like that. So you do need to keep some pretty good records on gifting but you can deduct a gift in some cases, like business deduction gifts. In other cases, if it's a person-to-person -person gift, you may choose, instead of making it tax deductible, you may choose to make it tax exempt, meaning I'm just giving you money, $17,000 per person. So if it's husband and wife and there's one kid, you can give 17 from mom and 17 from dad, 34,000. That 34000 would not be taxable. It is completely tax exempt, but it also means it's not a tax deduction for you. So great question and thought I should clear that up. So if you have any questions on how to use gifting to your children to obtain some tax strategies, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. Of course, as you guys know, that's what we do. That is our passion. We just passed $1 billion in savings for our clients. So reach out to us, taxgoddess.com. Book a call with my team. We can go through your situation and see how we can turn your gift into millions of dollars that are completely tax-free for you and your family. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And in the meantime, have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.